Hey everyone, this is Steve Weintraub with Collider, and I am here at our studio at TIFF at the Cinema Center at Marble with the filmmakers behind Bad Boy. How are you guys doing? Fine. Great. Clearly, when you were making this, you definitely thought we are going to premiere at TIFF. This is the this is where we're going with this. Indeed. Right. Exactly. Um, so I hate starting with the generic thing, but no one watching this yet will have seen it. So how have you been describing the show to friends and family? OK, um, so I'd say it's um, the best show that you ever saw in your life. Right. That's that's how we start. So it's a it's a it's a show about um, it's based on the true story of a stand up comedian in Israel. Um, and this guy spent his entire life, his entire um, youthhood in uh, juvie. And the beauty of his story is that he became a stand-up comedian in prison. So basically, it's a juvie show, but taught, but told through the eyes of a storyteller, of a comedian with the perspective of humor. And um, that's how I tell it to my friends and family. You? Yeah. Well, one of the things, um, for people that don't realize, you created the uh, uh, Euphoria, and it lasted for one season. So one of the things I wanted to talk about with this is, did you guys envision this or, like as a one-season show, or is this one of these things where when you pitched it and wanted to get it made, you were thinking, this is two years, three years, like, how did you envision it? No, it's a multi-season, but the crazy thing is that when we pitched Euphoria in the first time, it was 12 years ago, you know, it was hard to make, uh, it was this show. It was a, a juvie prison, but everyone felt, especially the network, that um, the audience is not ready or something, but it, it stayed with us. Um, so in a strange way, there are many similarities. So the I've seen the first two episodes and uh, each episode sort of ends on a cliffhanger, if you will. and, and Su definitely surprising things happen. So how much is it where the whole season, like every episode you wanted to end on a reason to push play for the next episode? Um, it pretty much carries this suspense element. Um, I think that more than anything, we want the audience to engage, obviously, with the characters and, you know, the sensibility of the characters and their relationships. But there's always a, a very intense dramatic element to each and every one of the episodes. Also, the, the series, the, the first season, assuming you get to make more, is eight episodes. How did you decide on eight? Was it ever going to be six? Was it ever going to be ten? Like, how did the that number get figured out? Yeah, you know, we changed our minds like every eight months. Well, it, it was for a while, it was six, it was ten, it was everything. And part of the thing, I, I think, especially in the world where Hollywood itself, Hollywood is making 600 shows a year, right? Drama series a year. You, the, you Drama doesn't worth anything if you're not taking risks and... and, and and you're bold and you're reinventing genres. So it's always, I think every episode is a bit different in a sense that we were trying to reinvent the genre and we are trying to, so, so the journey itself is, it, when we were sitting with the, the guy who was behind the real story, and again, it's a stand-up comedian who's past come to hunting because he's becoming famous now, and the, the kids who were in jail with him are, are knocking on his door, and, and he was hiding this fact. We were sitting with him. The stories are endless. It can be five seasons. Like We can write five seasons before the festival ends. We, we are so passionate about this story, but we needed to find uh, what is the thing that, that we want to start with and, and we're most excited about. And you know how we, we, you work in television and it's such a, uh, an intimate collaboration. Each of us would bring what um, he feels the urge to tell. For example, I, I was really obsessed from the beginning with a relationship between a, a, um, a son and a mother on all its forms, on the Sevilla uh, Dolan uh, uh, films, right? And it was a lot about the mother and son thing. I think Hagar w was really um, excited about some other elements. It's, it was, so you, you're building a season, you're building a journey uh, that in this case, the first season is, is is rather a love story in a sense, uh, not sexually maybe, but but a love story between him and the one person he's supposed to kill in order to stay alive. But is he finds himself um, as his soulmate, as a lifeline, right? Yeah, I just figured out what happens in episode three. So <laughs> without I've not spoiled anything. No. Um, but one of the things, though, is uh, I thought you did a really good job at building the tension and uh, de like having a realistic depiction of what could happen, because, you know, 
to just survive. I mean, I've heard so many stories about prison, but I don't know how much is true or not. But I got the feeling that it felt very realistic to me. So can you sort of talk about directing that tension and keeping the audience in a heightened state of, you know, nervousness? Yeah, well, I think I have a fetish for for prisons and it's uh, <laughs> and it's something that I've been uh into, if I may say, not figuratively speaking, but into uh, for quite a while. And and I think that, you know, just um, let's say that just the structure of what a prison is has tension in it. Right. So the minute we put uh, a very young kid in such a structure, we create tension no matter what. And I think that's part of the beauty of the show that we uh, enter the point of view of a kid entering the scariest place uh, known to mankind. And I think that's, you know, what we wished to depict more than anything, that fear, but at the same time, the enjoyment of being a badass boy. And, um, and I think that, you know, um, I grew up as being a bad boy and I assume Ron did too. So, um, Building the tension through knowing what it is to be a bad boy, you know, was pretty much a, um, an easy task. Let's put it that way. I'm curious, how did the series change in the editing room uh, in ways you guys didn't expect? It did. Um, obviously, it's um, <laughs> it's interesting because we knew from the start that we want to do a cross genre thing you know something that has surreal moments something that has very very hardcore realistic moments violent moments alongside comic moments and and i think that what happened in the editing room is eventually that we found the the perfect balance for that so you know obviously things shifted some things stayed something were removed i mean it was a really interesting process because we knew we wanted to do something that was more than just a drama or more than just a, a, a funny drama or so I, you know it was more it was finding that tone that very very specific tone that the show has the other thing though is you are jumping forward in time and then back in time in the prison as he's being a stand-up so talk a little bit about um you know how did that possibly change in the edit was it always scripted the way it is um interesting question because it was something that um you know as i think that we knew from the start that we wanted this sort of structure OK, um, that we wanted to to we wanted to have a present line with the guy himself. I mean, the one who's acting is the guy that the stories are based upon. And we knew we wanted to have his stand up comedy. Now, it's never easy to interwine past and present. And and I think that what happened in the editing room is that we found this very specific cinematic language to do that in which it will not be, you know, just somebody telling his past story because we can rely on his comedy because all his comedy is based on his childhood and his very, very tough life that he had. So we found a way, I think, you know, to, to use his comedy and his stories to tell the present and then, you know, have the past with that. So I think that's a very, very interesting combination because it's not just, you know, a story of a dude telling his life story. Talk a little bit about, um, because this is based on a real person, where did you feel that you could, you wanted to sort of be honest with this story, like uh, be very realistic? And where did you feel like you could take liberties? And where was that line in the in the writing and creation? I think that much like Euphoria, by the way, when the idea, the original idea started with the fact that we wanted to do emotional realism, but not specifically realism. You want to find a way to um, to to create something that that 
the characters that exist in this world remember this world and imagine this world and their their hopes and their wishes and and that's a crazy thing because like when he's telling the story you can never know if he remembers it correctly if he's lying if he's imagining it's a child who is very is full of imagination explosive of imagination and humor and this is the way he remembers the trauma of his childhood so we can never know what really happened some of the stories are bigger than life and some of the stories are, are very uh, hyper realistic so it jumps with it so for us it was um taking the guy into a hotel room in london out of his uh, natural habitat and taping him for two weeks telling the the entire story of his of his life and and his childhood and the fact that he's he, he's a kid who was a chess champion but he never he, he didn't really belong in jail he was obsessed with being a stringer bell type of a guy like dreaming of becoming a gangster from television because everyone was thinking he's funny and he wanted to be frightening and not funny so it was but but he has these stories about you no know, his father was trying to kill his mother and you never knew if it's like his imagination or not right and we decided to go with it um and it's a very it's it's we're still working with him we haven't even we're not we're about to shoot next month for we're, we're still in working progress progress it was very important for us to be here at if so we came with very early uh, episodes but we're we're still agar is filming next month oh so uh, you guys him. aren't done filming no no not yet oh wow i thought you guys had already finished the eight episodes we're close yeah Right. Yeah, additional filming, you know how it is. Oh, no, no. Com- yeah, so so principle is done. You're doing some additional yes, photography. Exactly. I, I completely get it. Um, what is the plan for release for people who can to see it? Like, I'm not sure what the release plan is. We don't know. It's um, we we didn't go out with it to the market at all. It's uh, we it's have a, we have a, um, a network in Israel. And the funny thing is that when we started playing with the idea and pitching it, we got all awesome offers to create it in English. And we said, we want to first do it in Hebrew. We want to do it in Israel. The freedom that you have there to get crazy, to do whatever you want on drama. And the freedom that we get there uh, was very exciting. So we said, no, we, we want to do it in Hebrew. We want to touch. And every place that would touch a juvie prison, like if it's France or if it's California or Florida, it will touch really different themes and, and social justice issues and whatever. And we wanted to touch the Israeli because, they, I mean, with 12 to 18, you, you lock together 12 tiny 12-year-old kids with 18-year-old uh, gorillas. And and, and there's the way, something that's crazy. Yeah. Yes. And it's, it happens happens in the US and most states as well and there's some and yeah they're going to going to bed cuddling and singing songs from Disney and a moment later they're like turning like they're violent killing each other but the thing is um, that you, when 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 you're doing this it's a melting pot where in a beautiful way they don't really see race or religious for example it's truly really a melting pot they're 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 not ruined yet by society in other aspects we wanted to touch the israeli side of this and yet doing an, an an international show with an international studio um so so it's kind of it's a, it's an interesting journey we don't know where it will lead us but we are happy that we chose this way to get freedom and not do it in the executive so, hollywood way so it has a release plan or a tv station in israel yes and then it's a question of what happens with it outside of israel so it, uh, I com- I completely understand. Yeah. Uh, I'm, well, first of all, when is it going to air in Israel so I can watch episode three? <laughs> Winterish. Yeah. Oh, so later this year. Yes. Oh, okay. So it's not that far away. Not that far. We'll away. send it over. Right. <laughs> Uh, I will appreciate that once you finished filming episode, your additional photography, <laughs> and you know stuff like that. So, um, uh, so is the plan? Are the people who financed it and made it like incredibly happy? Is the plan to start writing season two? Like, are you thinking about that or you can't even think about that at this moment? I think they're very happy, but oh, thinking of season two. Oh, Gosh. So yeah. Um, no, we have some our, ideas. Our, our, but, our partners, you know. it's, it's, uh, it's an interesting package because uh, we have uh, Sipur Studio, which is now the biggest and, and uh, most prolific studio in Israel, uh, and together with uh, North Road, the picture churning group in London and L.A. And we have our partners, our uh, decades uh, old partners of hot as as a network in israel we did euphoria with them and teddy a production we did euphoria with them so it's it's um it, it's making us feel at home and yet very international hollywood standard and it's it's fun 
I'm just going to say that um, congratulations for being part of the Toronto International Film Festival, which is a huge deal for a show. Um, and uh, when you're ready to send me episodes three and four and the rest, I will watch them. Uh, and I really wish you guys nothing but the best. And um, thank you for coming in. Thank you. Thanks.